Well, they've been exposed to the history of our nation and the First Nations people um, probably since as early as like grade two or grade three. Um, and, and I guess their understanding has really come from um, things that really live in the past. And for us, it was really to kind of add that human element to it um, and, uh, and, and introduce that other narrative. We started by just asking our students what they knew. You know, they, they've taken grade seven. And in grade seven, you talk a lot about uh, the history of Canada. Uh, sometimes it's a little focused on the European side of it. Sometimes you'll get both stories really, really well explained, etc. So we started by talking about where, where their understanding is about the relationship. Because our target is to have them understand the relationship, we always framed our questions um, under, the, under the banner of uh, where do you feel the relationship was at that, or where do you feel the relationship is now? Where do you feel, in the history you've already learned, where do you feel the relationship was throughout history? So we had uh, Do Dr. Terry Lynn Fox uh, from Mount Royal University. She teaches within the education faculty um, and around Aboriginal studies, and that's her area of expertise. And so she came and she spoke about uh, about treaties uh, and about uh, about the the spirit in which treaties uh, uh, came about and how they were negotiated, how they were signed. She's a Blackfoot woman herself. She, you know, she talked about her life growing up. Um, she's a professor teaching at, at Mount Royal University. So I think that was really powerful for the students. We wanted students to take events along this timeline and we wanted them using those event, one event in a group, use one event and express it in pictures. Es express it as a visual, you know? Uh, the Great Peace of Montreal was an attempt to kind of rebond that broken relationship and so we represented that by sewing the images together to try to show a mended relationship, but that unfortunately didn't last very long so you can see the burned edges because that only lasted about 50 years until um, conflicts and disagreements broke out again. One of the things we immediately identified was that need to try to showcase student work to try to pro provide a forum um, where the students could represent their learning in a space where they're talking with people and I think there's like a real natural uh, there's natural allies between the university pre-service teachers and, uh, and the field because pre-service teachers want to see how this uh, inquiry process lives in reality they spend a lot of time hearing about it in the university but they don't necessarily see a lot of examples so it was an opportunity for us to have our pre-service teachers come in and, and, and have the students, the grade nine students, sort of being the teachers in that role and, and sharing. And I think when you're doing that kind of showcase, um, the thing that I've noticed that is probably the most helpful is to have that art piece. And he believed that the Native Americans were godless and soulless, so he believed that by giving them the savior, he could help. Each student had designated work and they could talk about it freely and openly, most of them without a script. It was really impressive to see them make connections and explain that confidently to the university students. I was most impressed today about the uh, students' ability to connect to their lives today and make these, uh, these important issues in our history relevant to them today. I thought there was a lot of thought uh, that went into each and every one of them that I, that I saw. Uh, some great, uh, great use of, uh, of images. Uh, I found them quite artistic. It gave us an opportunity to kind of showcase our work and share what we had learned about the different perspectives. These are the important, significant events as we identify them, the students identified them um, themselves. And so being able to, 
to listen to them articulate that to, to pre-service teachers during their presentation was where we really um, had some insights into, into their understanding um, around all, all of the outcomes we were trying to get through. And one of the questions we asked was, um, is there something that you still would like to know more about? And so that there's some of the responses for those questions um, really showed that there was there was a really good understanding, but then that willingness to want to still engage uh, with the topic and want to know more about what they about what they'd learn. You can't get that same can't get that same feeling by just looking at something in a textbook. That, that we the same idea of perspective and emotion that you can by uh, actually seeing how it affected people.